Stats. All us nerds love stats. There's just something so addictive about watching those stats get higher and higher. If you're anything like me, you savor every level up, poring over all the options in the player's menu. Do I take Eldritch Knight or do I take Battlemaster? Hmm. Do I take an attribute point or do I take a feat? I love this process so much, I asked myself if there was a way to do it in real life. Spoiler alert, there is. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I'm getting my real life RPG stats using the character sheet included in the totally free, fully illustrated adventurer's guide that we created. The link's right down below. Since it's a bit daunting to go at this alone, I figured I'd make this video to clear up any confusion there is when performing the character assessment. Ready to get started? Let's get fortified. So this is week two of my six month campaign to better health. A journey I'm undertaking without weighing myself and without restrictive dieting. If you want more info on what I'm doing, definitely check this link up here to get caught up. Today, I'm going to be showing you how I'm going to be measuring my fitness progress over the next month. The team here at Fortify Strength poured over a lot of research in order to find the best ways to assess certain things like strength, uh, dexterity, agility, mobility, with some very important considerations. First. We wanted to find measures that didn't require any extra equipment, if at all possible, or possibly using things that a typical person would have laying around the house. We did this because we wanted to lower the bar and the investment as much as possible. We wanted everyone to be able to do this if they wanted to, and if they took the time to do it. Second, we tried to find measures that had some sort of external validation, either through research or at least some sort of data behind it. This whole thing is an ongoing and very difficult process, and we expect to change this assessment tool many times. Our goal though is to eventually create something that is quick, easy, and externally validated in order to create a good measure of different aspects of your fitness and your general health. And we want to do this in a way that's familiar to anyone who loves RPGs or games in general. The assessment tool measures these categories, strength, dexterity, agility, mobility, constitution, and wisdom. Each attribute is broken into subcategories like push strength, pull strength, etc. The goal here was to be able to quickly look at someone's character sheet and be able to tell at a quick glance exactly what needs to be worked on. There is a lot of advantages to grouping a lot of info on a single page which you can reference, especially when it comes to your overall fitness. While most of the categories are scored through exercise, constitution and wisdom are scored through questionnaires. We're still refining these sections, but suffice it to say that those sections are pretty self-explanatory. We're going to be focusing our time today on the other sections, which can be a bit confusing if you've never done this sort of thing before. And honestly, that's almost all of you. But don't worry, I think seeing me do each section on video will help you when you try to do this assessment yourself. Alright, so, know this before we get started. You don't have to do this all at once. In fact, I recommend you break up the assessment into different days to get a more accurate test measure. You'll see why, right now.
Did you get tired just watching me? I know, the assessment is quite long and it may seem daunting. But trust me, having this information beforehand is a great marker for your progress if you don't have access to heavy weights. Normally, you could use one rep maximum with lifts to track your strength, for example. But we wanted to design tests that anyone could do at home with little to no equipment. Reminder, if you want to do this assessment yourself, don't try and do it all in one sitting. You will fatigue out and not have the energy for the later test, which may score you lower than you really are. And you don't want lower stats, come on. Try the test mobility one day, then strength another day, then agility, then dexterity. It'll take a bit of a commitment, but it will be so worth it when you have all your stats on a single piece of paper that you can refer to as you move forward with your fitness progress. If you have any more questions on how to do the assessment or how to start a fitness program, please join our Discord where we can talk to you one-on-one -on -one or drop by our Twitch where we stream Tuesdays and Sundays. That's it for this week, folks. Still feeling great and definitely noticing that I am more in tune with my body. I am noticing that I am full much quicker and I have just tended to be making better choices when it comes to eating and sleeping. The very act of just tracking these things has been strangely helpful. It gets my nerd mind working when I see all those stats and I kind of just want to see those numbers go up. If you want to continue receiving updates on this six month journey and hear all the strategies and tactics I'm using to get healthy, please subscribe down below so you can see our next weekly video. See you next week. And until then, don't forget, Fortify strength.